Okay, while you're talking about refinishing, here's one of my favorite questions to answer. Um, and we're gonna run these two questions together. How many times can I sand my engineered hardwood floors? Okay, I'm gonna give you my, I'm gonna give you my opinion first. All right, right here is an engineered floor. Um, usually people ask the question, how many times can I refinish yes. my, this engineered floor? Okay, because the reason they're asking that is they've been to a store uh, that is part of their sales pitch. Oh, this floor can be sanded seven times. Um, that's not true. This floor can be refinished a million times. Well, it sounds like rhetoric, it's really not. When we refinish a floor, we're not sanding any of the wood. We're scuffing this top to make it smooth, and then we vacuum it or wipe it down, and then we apply another coat of finish. There's no sanding of the wood. We're not touching the wood at all. So we can do that a million times. And what happens over time is floors, two things can happen to a wood floor. It can get dented, which you get when you drop a bowling ball on there, okay? or abrasive wear in the finish. Usually it's, a, in the old days, it was always abrasive wear. With the new aluminum oxide finishes, you really don't have abrasive wear anymore. In the old days, in the traffic pattern where you walked, you know, where you came in and walked straight through your living room, you would, over time, you would get a pattern there, a change in appearance due to loss of gloss level. That sounded pretty smart, didn't it? It did. It did, okay. Yeah. And so it wouldn't be a problem if it was like that everywhere, but where you walked, you had that change in gloss level, and over here where you didn't walk, it, you didn't. It still looked pristine. So it was that change that people think, hey, I need to fix my floor. You really don't get that anymore with aluminum oxide. If you do, how many times can you refinish that floor? A million, if you want to, keep refinishing it. Now, drop a bowling ball in there and you've got a dent in it. How many times can you sand this floor? Well, it kind of depends on how deep you're going to sand it, okay? If you've got little bitty dents, then you can probably sand those out because this, this particular floor is, is one of our Somerset offerings. It has an eighth of an inch hardwood top on it. So if you wanted to shave a sixteenth of an inch off of that, mm -hmm. you can do that once. Yep. If you do it again, you're going to have a problem. Yep. Don't sand engineered floors, okay? There, there's really no reason to, right? No, I mean, if you had to on some of these with the thicker tops, you could do one sanding. If I had a 3 8 engineered, I wouldn't touch them with a no. sander. One mistake, you have to throw, rip your whole floor out. Yeah, uh, really, if you want to address that now, um, buy a floor that doesn't dent easily. Your, some of your cheaper floors, the 3 8 you'll see they only use maybe three layers of wood. Uh, the best, yeah, you won't find more than five in any of the 3 8 but they, they tend to use softer materials in those cores. Um, if you're not familiar with our, our Somerset half-inch products, they're all eight-ply, but they're hardwood core. And what that means is when you drop something on it, this core is so hard it doesn't dent. You go with some of those, those cheap Chinese floors that are uh, at your box stores, you drop anything on them and they dent. And the dent can be from uh, a, a subpar wood on top, they'll call it a maple, but it's actually a Siberian larch or uh, some of these other species. They're, they're just soft. Um, that, so you'll have a soft top or you can have that soft core. If you'll buy a, a quality floor to begin with, denning shouldn't be an issue and you won't have to worry about sanding. You know another thing on the sanding and finishing? Why don't you tell me? A lot of times on at really cheap floors, you can get a floor cheaper and replace it cheaper than you can get it sanded and finished. Say, that's a good idea. That is a good idea. Nice thinking, Jason.